it's Mexican Adenses, and today it's another P.O. Box opening video. I have this box and this box to open. So I got this one first, so I'm going to open this one first. Because um, I feel bad because it arrived while my, um, my friend who was visiting from out of state came into town to see me. So I was like trying not to film super long videos where I'd be down here for a long time. So I hope you understand. Um, but I'm so excited to see what you sent me. And it says open here, so... Thank you for the guide, because I always miss the notes, so um, here we go! Alright, I'm just about through with cutting the tape off the box, and I just wanted to let you guys know that my P.O. box like closes in October, I believe October 31st, but I'm gonna renew it and see if I can get the same mailbox again, but if I don't, then I can't do anything about that, so if you're planning to send anything, either wait until after like October 20th, if you can't ship it by then, or like you know, just, um, I don't know exactly how it works or if I'm going to be able to get the same P.O. Box number and I'd hate for things to get shipped back or sent to the wrong person or something. So I, I just wanted to let you know, um, I would, I would really hate for that to happen to something. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> All right. Um, you are a genius for putting the note here. <laughs> Alrighty. So I see... A photo printed. Okay, well now I get to know how Walmart photo prints look. I really want to go do that for the um, for the third round of leggy pictures because um, CVS hasn't been my favorite, but they still do a good job. Okay, so it says Brooke and it's in the Pretty Care um, Healing Good Pretty Care stationery again. I really need to get me some of those because it would be like really cute to send my um, my little letters because I've been writing the letters on the leggy pictures, but I think it would be cute to like do separate ones. I don't know though. Alrighty, so let's get started. <laughs> Alright, do not read this on camera. Okay, so I guess this is a separate note. I think the sticky note is what you mean. Don't read on camera. Let me make sure, though. Alright, got it. <laughs> Alrighty. It says, ha Brooke, happy birthday. Well, kind of. I didn't remember the actual date, so I decided to just send you your gifts during Leo season. I hope you don't mind and like what I picked out, your friend. And then I can't 100% recall if I'm supposed to say this name, so I'm going to leave it. Well, actually, I can check. Ah, I can't remember which one was your like real name and which one was your online name, so I'm just gonna play it safe and not say it. Um, I'm so sorry, but this is from Drops of Indigo, who's in my comment section all the time. Um, and I feel really bad that you were trying to figure out the date. I didn't want to be like, by the way guys, my birthday is on July 29th, because now that I have a P.O. box, I felt like it would cause people to be like, oh, I need to send something, and I didn't want to, um, I didn't want that to happen. Unless people were, like, perfectly comfortable sending me things, obviously. But, you know, I was trying to, like, keep it on the down low a little bit. <laughs> so, sorry about that if that, um, if that made it difficult for anybody. <laughs> Alright, and then there's a ton of pictures in here. It says, this is from the night two neighborhood cats were having a standoff in our driveway. Of course, they, <laughs> we had to watch. And it says, Gabe is missing. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay. <gasps> oh, shoot, okay, I'm sorry. I just realized they're attached to each one. Oh, so I think it's saying Gabe is missing as in Gabe's not in the picture. This is so cute. They're watching. <laughs> oh, okay. And then, I oh my god, the black cat. This one says, my dad calls him Alvin the Terrible. He's super lovey and really knows how to use his voice, but is also mischievous. He chases his siblings and regularly gets the 4am zoomies. Lego is all about the 4am zoomies and Ronaldo's, Ronaldo is all about the 4am, I caught a mouse except it's a mouse toy. And I'm gonna scream and take laps until you acknowledge that I caught this mouse and pet me. <laughs> okay, anyway. This cat is angelic. Okay, Toby in his pouting spot. He goes here when he's mad and makes sure everybody sees him. He is a lovable vocal boy whose favorite treats are chicken and waffle flavor. But he can also be moody, so watch out. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting a couple of scratches from him. He's really cute. Oh my god. Alright. This could be like Leggy's mom. This is Cooper. She's our only girl and was rescued from a Walmart parking lot at six weeks old. I have found so many cute cats in Walmart parking lots and tried to catch them, and I can never catch them. So I am stunned that you managed. Leggy was found in a, um, in the parking lot of a Long John Silver's that I worked at, and I did manage to catch her, so I guess it really depends on the cat. I didn't even have to catch her. She walked right up to me, and I just picked her up. Okay. She's a very lovey girl who loves chicken, ham, and pets. I love that you put their favorite foods. Leggy, she's like right here. You, did you hear we're talking about babies? Did you hear? Um, Leggy's favorite food is cheesy bacon treats. 
She loves cheesy treats. And we have to get her the special cat safe cheesy treats because we can't give her our cheese too often. She gets licks of my baked potato though. She loves cheese and butter. Okay. She, she tries to be vocal but has no voice really. She can't meow. Oh. Lego does this thing because she can meow. Maybe she's done it in a video before. I'm not sure. I have a video of her doing it. I'll put it right here. Um, but she like, she'll just open her mouth and be like, <laughs> and she looks up at us. So I think she's trying to, but just doesn't. Um, oh my God. These cats are all so stinking cute. This is my son, Gabriel. <laughs> walking hat. I'm going to need the story behind walking hat is the nickname. His personality is nervous. He gets... He's a timid guy who likes gentle pets and voices, does not like loud noises, and is easily startled, but he's a great boy. I agree, he's a great boy. Oh my god. Oh. I've never, like, well, my mom has three long-haired cats, but I've never personally had a long-haired cat. They're so regal. <laughs> oh. Cooper actually looks out the window like this. I could never have blinds because of stuff like this. I feel like Lego and Ronaldo are not mature enough to handle blinds. They certainly aren't mature enough to handle curtains. Yeah, you ruined my curtains, didn't you? All right. Oh. Oh. Oh, they're all in the bed together. My bed is never this nicely made when they're sitting all cute on it, so I never get a picture like this. Um, I call this catception. Seriously, this never happens. Oh, this is rare. Toby, Alvin, and Gabriel. Oh my god. That looks like a long hair version of Gucci. I miss Gucci so much. Um, Okay, thank you so much for, like, the slideshow tour of all your cats. I love it. <laughs> Alrighty, and then I'll get into the box next. So, oh my god, is everything wrapped? <laughs> it wouldn't be from you if there wasn't Elena of Avalor wrapping paper in the box. <laughs> Y'all make me feel so special. <laughs> this is so cute. I don't want to open them because, like, imagine if I just, like, laid them all out and was like, Oh, this is so cute. Okay, I have to open and see what's inside. Oh. I'm gonna like save the wrapping paper though, I think. You're really good at wrapping presents too, by the way. I can't. <laughs> My mom is excellent at wrapping presents too and I've just, I never learned it. I'm not patient enough to figure it out. I guess I don't have to save all the wrapping paper as long as some of it, oh my God, no way. gonna order this but I like I ran out of money when our Japan order was due so I couldn't get her <gasps> I ran out of money because of something pertaining to this wink stuff down here I only put things that wouldn't be a spoiler for the video by the way but it's coming um this it, okay so this is from Star Twinkle Pretty Cure and I really wanted this set because my st my cure star doesn't have her like, she's missing some stuff from her original outfit, and this includes the original outfit. And then also, this is, like, the final form when they're doing, like, the final boss fight or whatever. Or is this the movie form, actually? I can't recall from memory. I think this is the movie form. But, um, it's just so cool. So, I, I really... Thank you so much! It's so, like, delightfully perfect because it's something I was, like, actively going to order for myself. And now I'm very glad that I didn't because I swear it was, like, three days ago when I was going to order her. And this was already sitting in my house three days ago, I'm pretty sure. So, <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I have another Pretty Cure doll that I need to open, so I'll probably do them in the same video. Because um, I never opened Cure Sparkle. But the reason is that I was going to order the rest of the Healing Good, Healing Good Girls, but... I didn't get to in time for our Japan order again because of, again, because of this. Okay. <laughs> next we have, oh, I don't know which one to go with next. I'll go with Shimmer and Shine in purple. Is this show good, by the way? I need to watch it. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Oh my God. You sent me another one. I've never even seen this in my life. It's a fashion pack. It's a fashion pack for Cure Star, and I'm not sure what it's referencing, but it's so cute. And this is again great because I have a Cure Star that's incomplete, so I need to buy another one anyway. Because I need the gloves for this, but mine doesn't have the gloves. So like, oh my gosh, sweet! And look at the cute little shoes. Oh, and I could also put it on anybody too. Oh, this is so exciting. I wonder what this was made for because um. 
It doesn't have Cosmo on the back of the box, so that means it's kind of early. It's probably just a cute thing that they did. But I haven't seen this for sale, and I've been looking up Pretty Curd doll in every possible, um, like, combination on Yahoo Japan. Thank you. This is so thoughtful. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, and then I have another Shimmer and Shine one, so I gotta open this one next as it's part of the part of the flow here. I literally had no idea these existed. I'm like shocked. It does seem like Star Twinkle didn't do well, so maybe they're the merch isn't as popular, but like Oh my god! I'm gonna order a million Cure Star dolls because they're actually pretty cheap. Like on Yahoo Japan, I can get more. Oh my god, I love the cute little- it says how to put the shoes on. It's so cute. Oh, okay, we gotta go Shimmer and Shine next because I'm trying to keep like a theme. There's a- there's an Elsa one in her, um, it's her travel dress, but it's like purpler. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, next is another Shimmer and Shine one. I can't believe you sent me like all these presents. Hey! <laughs> Sweet! Oh my god! The Disney Store Elena mini doll set, I love these mini dolls, but when they were out, like just the whole line in general, when they were out, I just never ended up getting them because they were kind of like, um, well, A, I was like younger, so I had to prioritize and I prioritized Monster High um, and the, the classic dolls, but I really regretted it because they have such good face molds and outfits and stuff. They're really, really cool. And I just love personally, like mini dolls are so fun to me. Oh, this is so cool. But I love her, like her face mold in like every form of toy I've seen of her because I had a friend in um, like in my gymnastics team and her name was Phoebe and she looked just like her. So she like reminds me of her. Um, and then, what the? G4 Minty wrapping paper. G4 Minty wrapping paper are you serious how did i not know this existed i love that you've stocked up and all the all your favorite things wrapping paper that's so cute i need to do that i always see like cool merch like this like wrapping paper and i'm like mm, that, i'll find it later like i'll get it later and then i never do and then i regret it and like this is so cool i had no idea this existed okay i'm not gonna tear this at all because i want to keep it perfect but like look at that so this is the art from the little blind bag card that came out like when the this was she was from the first wave of blind bags and they didn't make the brushable of her well the prototype for the blushable blushable the, the prototype for the brushable minty was seen in like 2011 but we didn't get the actual toy until what 2015 maybe maybe even later than that um so all we had was this baby for a while and a play school figure i have them all now but look at her I am missing the Jeep 4.5 one, actually, but... And the Fashion Poses one. Okay, I'm really gonna try not to rip this as I rip it. Okay, um, I'm just gonna hope that I have a good amount of surface area to keep, because I don't, I don't know how to save this. Is this pretty here? Is this a wand? I don't have any of the wands. Well, I have one from... I don't remember what the show that I have the one from, because I haven't watched it yet. Oh my god! This is so cool. So this is from... This is Cure Mermaid, but I don't remember her, um... Ah, oh, which Pretty Cure is this? This is so cool, though. Okay, so this is the next Pretty Cure show I'm gonna watch. Oh my god. Okay, so it says, I apologize for this, but the Crystal Princess Rod is actually damaged. It turns on, but the dress-up keys do not react. However, I still thought it would make a cute addition to your Magical Girl collection. It was damaged during shipment. Trust me, I don't mind. Um, this is so cool. Oh, and there's Cure Mermaid. So I definitely need to watch this series anyway because she exists. Um, oh, but I feel bad that I don't know. It's called like, is it Go Princess or is it Sweet? Um, oh my gosh. Oh, it's Go Princess. <gasps> my first guess was correct. <gasps> Sorry, uh, there's something wrong with me. Anyway. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so cool though, because this is like my first wand. I do have one again, but I got it in like a random like lot of stuff. Oh, but the box is so cool. I kind of, because I can display it like out of the box, but next to the box. 
I apologize now for any differences in angle and also the time skip. My phone died. Yay! It was nowhere near dead when I started recording, but that's fine. Um, I don't know when it died or like when it stopped recording exactly, um, but... Ow. <laughs> I got this, um, the Go Pre wand and I guess we'll open it up and see what it looks like. <laughs> Um, I really need to watch um, this series for Pretty Cure. I really am enjoying the um, every series I've watched so far, so I know I'll like this one too. And I've heard that this one's like super popular. Oh my gosh. So like, I don't mind that it doesn't work at all, honestly, because these are mainly show pieces for me. This is so cool. I can't believe the quality of this. And look, it's like got the light stick material inside. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get batteries for this because, oh wait. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, this is so cool. This is so neat. And then you plug these um these into the top, and then they change per wh whichever character you're um the, like you're playing as. I guess this is cool. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, invest in a lot of the pieces for, you know, the two series that I've watched the most of, so, um, um, Tropical Rouge and Star Twinkle, go, but, like, the Mermaid Aquapod is holding me back, but I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna purchase it. This is so cute. This is a really good wand design. I really like it. Um, so this is my new Pretty Gear wand. <laughs> Alright, um, let me set that down. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright. Next up, we have, um, I'm gonna go for, I believe this would be the last one. This is the Frozen, yeah, I just wanna make sure I don't miss anything. This is the Frozen 2 wrapping paper. <gasps> a little bruny. But see what I mean about the Elsa? I mentioned this earlier, but like, look how purple her outfit looks. I really like that. Cause it's usually more blue in the artistic and um, uh, merch just depictions. I, I feel like in the movie it was pretty blue too, but I prefer the purpler look it has here. Um, anyway, let's see what's inside. Oh my god sweet <laughs> this is actually my first like sophia the first piece of merch to be honest oh and it comes with amber oh so i love sophia the first i love sophia the first it's so good if you haven't watched sophia the first because it's like a disney junior show or something please watch it please it's so good Oh, and I've never seen this amber before. I see this Sophia at thrift stores a lot, but she's always missing the amulet of Am amulet of Avalor, and I literally did not know she came with a crown, so she's definitely always missing that. But I see um the ones from this series all the time, but never, I've never seen amber, and I've never seen Sophia with all of her stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to decide if I should open this or not. This is so cute, and this is my just play. Huh, that's surprising because um, Jack Specific had the license at the time, no? For like, um, like baby versions of the princesses, but maybe the Disney Junior license is different from the Disney Princess lineup. I'm not sure. Um, but this is so cool. Oh, Amber looks so cute. I really like how different they've made their faces look with what appears to be the exact same face mold. Oh no, they're different face molds. Well, how about that? I wouldn't expect that. Sophia has a really tiny nose compared to Amber. Oh my gosh. I just okay <laughs> so that's everything thank you from drops of indigo thank you so so much um and yes on the other note you sent me just between us yes <laughs> I will um <laughs> thank you I'm so excited to add my first like Elena set to my collection because of you I have the classic doll and I have um one of the mini dolls without her shoes and in pretty bad condition um, but that's it for Elena Vavalor. So I'm really excited. Oh, and I have a little minifigure from like a Kinder Egg or something. Um, but I'm really excited to like, oh, these are so cool. I'm gonna have to look and see if I can find these out of box that I can buy. But if I can't, then I'll open this. But I, well, I guess actually I don't mind opening this because even if I want to keep the packaging for, um, for display or something, I can just sit them back in here. I don't really mind if they're like suspended like they are right now or not. Oh my gosh, and then all the pretty cure stuff. This was so thoughtful and kind. Thank you so, so much. These were really, really um, generous and thoughtful, and 
I still can't get over the cat pictures. While my phone was dead and I was just pouting, waiting for it to come back, I was just, you know, <laughs> flipping through the cat pictures. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, and then we have another package today. This one I'm nervous about because um, that's either something horrifically broken or not, or it's something that just is like a puzzle or something, I'm not sure. Or like maybe beads. I don't know, I'm just nervous that maybe something's broken and I will feel so awful about that. Um, but let's get started. I guess I'll open it from the top, I'll just keep it off camera so you can't see the label. Um, oh my gosh, I almost just ripped the return address. I need that. Let's get into it. See, I'm so nervous about the, the beans. It sounds like beans. It's a maraca, that's what this box is. <laughs> All right. Let me make sure, okay, I'm off camera. I see the Toei animation symbol just right off the bat, so I'm kind of feeling like, oh my god, <laughs> no. it's not a present, oh my god, this is a purchase that I made. My friend from out of state has been here for a week, and before that I was like deep cleaning my entire house, so I... I'm so sorry that I forgot that I purchased this. Um, but yeah, I remember now. I saw the Monster High doll and I was like, hold on, I bought this doll. Did someone send her to me on it? Like, but oops, because I already have her. Okay, <laughs> so this is from the, uh, I believe it was called Love's Not Dead 2-pack with Slow-Mo and Gulia. I don't really mind not having Slow-Mo, so I bought this Gulia and I bought her from an Instagram seller and I paid like $10. And oh my gosh, so this seller I've actually like seen in my Instagram comments or something for a long time like I'm very familiar with the username maybe just likes honestly I just remember the name because I thought it was so cute and clever um I'll link their shop in the description I believe their account might be private though I'm not sure um but but anyway I followed them just because I finally clicked on the username and I was like oh they're selling stuff and then I bought a bunch of stuff not a great time for me to be buying a bunch of stuff but I did I think I bought it all before I bought um the expensive purchase. Anyway, so this is the Love's Not Dead Gulia. I just need to fix her hair and I have a Monster High restoration video in the works anyway. Not in the works. In my brain telling me that I need to make it but not actually like happening. But it will happen. I'm gonna do it. Um, so she's the perfect, um, perf perfect doll for that and I really need to give her glasses but I don't have extra glasses. Most of my Gulias probably don't have any. I haven't um, gone through my Monster High accessories in a while. Um, I need to just to see where I'm at and what I still need. Oh, and this Gulia is so cool. So cool. Her, um, her makeup and, oh my gosh, I just noticed her pupil. Or her eyes. Look at the, look at the red and blue eyes she has. It's so fierce. I love it. I seriously love the way they do Gulia's makeup. Fix that lighting. I don't know why I thought that was acceptable. All right. And then, oh my gosh, so these are a Healing Good Pretty, okay, so this is a Healing Good Pretty Cure little mug. This, I guess, this is a pretty cute video. Oh my gosh, I love merch like this. Just like practical things I think are so fun. We have a ton of like anime like glasses in our cupboard. <laughs> um, I don't really use them, but they're in there. We've used them a couple times. And then, oh my gosh, this one is so cute. This is a Star Twinkle Pretty Cure bowl. And this one's cool because I can like put little trinkets in the bowl on display. And it's also a Pretty Cure piece. So like, I think that's really fun. And Oh, it's from before Cosmo, but that's okay. Oh, this is so cute. As long as it doesn't... I don't know why I can't talk lately. I'm so sorry. <laughs> as long as it has Lala. Well, okay. As long as it has Cure Milky and Cure um, Soleil, I am happy. This is so cute. Alrighty, and then... Sorry about the... I need to just stop wearing black shirts. Like, I haven't learned, clearly. All right, and then another one. So I believe these probably go to the same set because they have the same art on them, but this one's like a smaller bowl for like snacks or something. And it's got the same art as the bowl, except, well, as this bowl, except they're like lined up instead of next to each other like that. And they're just nice little like plastic, useful. <laughs> Alrighty, and then this, oh, it was the chain. It was the chain, it was the chain, okay. Um, this is so cute. I got a really good deal on this too. I f everything in here was actually a really good deal. Um, but this, and again, this wasn't a gift. I purchased all of this. I think I paid like $40 for everything. 
Um, this is like a, I guess a makeup bag or something for Ever After High, and I never find Ever After High merch, and I've been looking everywhere for like Ever After High bedding or something. I am desperate for an Ever After High rug, but I'm not sure if one exists. If you have ever seen an Ever After High rug before and have any recollection of it, please tell me. Please. I want one so bad. I have a rug thing. Like, I have a problem with rugs. Anyway, this is adorable. First of all, it kind of looks like a book. I assume that's what they were going for. I love that it's like, you can hold it like this or with the chain. That's like bougie. Like, I feel like I could wear this to like a prom and it wouldn't be out of place. <laughs> and then this like sketch art that they do. I love this style of art specifically. So it's really cool to see it on merch. A lot of merch falls into the trap of just using the exact same four like vector images that were the first page of the vector like, you know, companies send out, like, the character style guides or whatever and are just, like, make the merch with this. And then they use the same, like, five renders over and over and over again. It's so annoying. Frozen, this Elsa picture. I can't. I can't do it anymore. It's way too, like, it's too much. We've seen it too much. That's what I'm talking about. So I love when they use, like, different art like this. So this one is, of course, the raven side. And it has, like, the, all this cool stuff and, like, the watercolor mess in the back. I love it. And I love the gold um, zipper and stuff as well. This is so cute. And then apple on the other side. So pretty. And it says apple white. And I love the foiling. Or I guess it's like iron on glitter, not foil. Oh, but it's so nice. And there's even like, that's like the bindings. Yeah, it's totally supposed to be a book. That's the binding of the book. So it has ever after high. And, oh, it's so cool. I don't know. I just, I was fascinated by this. I thought this was the coolest thing. Look. Okay. I wonder what company made it. I wonder if it says, it does it say Accessory Innovations? Yeah, so it's made by Accessory Innovations, if you were wondering. Okay, so yeah, that's that's my purchase from an Instagram seller, I do that. It's very fun. And yes, I'm very excited about all this. Especially the Schoolia. I just never really buy Monster High dolls because it's hard to find them complete enough where I'm happy. The Schoolia is, complete enough where I'm happy. I feel like Gulia's glasses come with a million dolls, so eventually I'll get extras. I'm not too picky about it. Although, dolls that, like, always wear glasses and don't just randomly take them off when it's convenient, or, like, you, you know what I mean? Like, where they're not wearing glasses, like, once in a blue moon, where it's like, yeah, that's the glasses character, but she never wears them. Characters like Gulia, who no matter what were wearing glasses, are so rare, so... <laughs> I really appreciate that she exists in her glasses at all times. So I'd love to get um, glasses for all of mine. The reason I'm short on glasses actually for her is because I like to display my School Shores one with, you know, glasses. And then I have my Fizz Dead and my Gloom Beach that I got secondhand without them. So like, I'm very short on them. <laughs> um, but I'll get extras eventually. I'm not too worried about it. And I have a 3D printer now. Maybe I can figure that out. Anyways, that's it for this video. I feel so... Oh, thank you for the sale. By the way, if you're watching this, I don't know if you do. You were following me on Instagram, but I'm not sure. But um, thank you for the sale. This was like a really good deal for me. And these are three things, like three series of things that I really enjoy and really would like want it. I really wanted this doll. Like the, the later release Monster High dolls I'm super interested in because I missed out on a lot of them. So I love this one. This is like the minute before the reboot happened, you know? And then I, the Pretty Cure stuff is so cool too. And then of course the apple little bag, it's so cute. Or I said apple, it's got Raven on it too. Um, the, the Ever After High bag is so cool too. Thank you so much for the sale and the deals that you gave me. I appreciate it so much. Well, they weren't like deals for me. I paid the price that was on the listings, but you know, like they were such good deals. Thank you. Um, and thank you for watching and thank you so much again to Drops of Indigo for the huge birthday surprise box. Really wasn't expecting this and the, um, the thoughtfulness of each thing and the generosity of you sending all of this stuff was extremely appreciated and I, it's so hard to like put it into words, you know what I mean? It's, it's difficult. Um, I'm truly so honored to have met and been able to communicate with so many wonderful people through this channel and I don't take that for granted and I truly appreciate it so much. Um, even though I'm, I'm definitely not as good about answering the comments as I used to be, I'm really, really trying, but um, it's getting to the point where like, I would be like six hours per day of just answering the comments. Um, I really, really want to do it, but I don't want to answer the comments if they're not 
thoughtful like if I don't give a thoughtful response to a thoughtful comment I will feel like a dirt bag um but I do read the vast majority of them YouTube kind of YouTube notifies me of the comments but only some of them and only if it's the original comment it never notifies me of a reply so if I see a reply that means I was manually going through the comments to make sure I didn't miss anything and it's tough so if you comment on like a way old video and I don't ever see your comment that's why because I, I do check the newer ones I try to anyway I don't know I just felt like I needed to explain that because you guys don't a lot of you guys don't have a YouTube channel or at least um, one that gets a lot of comments so even when I didn't get a lot of comments though it would just not notify me of most of them like we have a video creator studio or whatever and there is a comments like area on it on the app and on the computer but it still doesn't put all the comments there it's so bizarre and then it randomly holds comments that shouldn't be held so I'll miss those it's it's a mess it's a mess but all that being said thank you guys so so much so so much for being here and thank you so so much for watching and thank you so so much to drop some indigo for making me feel so special on my birthday i really appreciate it and for real this time thank you guys so so much for watching bye